October 2017 Denver real estate market update. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, first of all, I will be reviewing September numbers because I will not have October numbers until November. So come back in November to see October's numbers. First off, active inventory in September in the Denver metro area, we had that 7,586 active listings on the market. That is up three, uh, just over 3% from August and down 0.17% from September of 2016. So we are about at the same inventory levels as we were last year at this time. Also, um, what is that number? 7,586 um, listings for the month of September. What does that look like compared to average? The average number of homes on the market in the Denver area in the month of September is over 17,000 homes. So, you can see that at uh, just over 7,500 homes, we are almost 10,000 homes lower than average. So inventory, still very tight, still a seller's market. Okay, homes sold in September, 4,427. That is down um, just a little over 21.5% from August and also down 15.6% uh, from September of last year. So that seems pretty significant, right? A 15 percent drop over um, of September of last year. Well, another way to look at this is in 2017, we are still up year over year um, for the number of homes that have sold in 2017. So we've actually sold more homes in the Denver area um, this year than last year. Our September was just a little, didn't sell as many homes. So chew on that. Okay, um, average home sales price, just over $429,000. Um, uh, that is uh, just down a little over a half a percent from August, okay? Uh, not much. So home, average home prices haven't dropped a lot. That's a normal seasonal drop, nothing to worry about. And from compared to last year, that is up 8.84% from last September. So some good growth there. Um, that number that I gave you on the average home price, that did include both condos and detached single family homes. So let's break that down a little bit more. Uh, the average price for a single family home in Denver area for September was $470,600,000. Um, um uh, $1,000 for a condo. Uh, let's look at days on the market. Average days on the market, 32 days in September. That's up from August by uh, just over 3% and exactly the same as last year. So it seems like September is, or this year really, is shaken out to look a lot like 2016. Um, right now, it's, things are, you know, we have a little bit more inventory, things are on the market just a little bit longer, and buyers are tending to ask for a little bit more in the inspection process. So if you are selling, be prepared that buyers are asking for a little bit more. So be prepared to fix some more things in your home during this time. Um, if not, you may end up with home, you're putting your home back on the market if you can't agree. And we have been seeing more of that with homes being put back on the market because buyers and sellers could not come up with any sort of agreement during the inspection process. Also, we have seen some more price decreases to get those buyers in. Okay, uh, price point under $400,000, still very competitive, sitting on, not sitting on the market very long and seeing multiple offers. So um, if you're buying, it's a good time of year to buy, not as many multiple offers. Uh, inventory is, however, still low, still definitely considers a seller's market. But um, last year, like I said, we're looking a lot like 2016. In the beginning of 2017, right after the holidays, the selling season actually started to rev up already. Um, like it, it just happened sooner than normal. So it'll be interesting to see if the beginning of 2018 um, 
you know, revs up quick like that as well. So be sure to tune into my monthly market updates so you can uh, see what happens. So uh, to do that, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay in the loop. I um, do lots of home tours, real estate advice, all kinds of good stuff. So anyhow, thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.